Welcome back to Manchetta, guys. It's time for another anime review from Netflix. Welcome back to Manchetta, guys. This is going to be an anime that released a few months ago, especially by the time I post this video. There's going to be The Grim Variations. Uh, six episodes only out, uh, released on April 17th on Netflix. Uh, it is a series that you can watch really any episode um at any or in, in any order and you should be fine <laughs> I'm, I, i'll just throw that out uh so go for it i mean why why wait so anyways um if you have not done so by now guys please subscribe to my channel give some love by comments liking and sharing uh you guys can also find me on social media and other places where you guys can uh check me out and uh follow me as well so make sure you guys are doing that i do appreciate all the love and support that you guys have shown this channel um please introduce yourself in the co in the comment section uh, if you haven't done so and uh yeah let's let's continue with this now the green variations is a interesting series and i want to say um all the episodes are weird in themselves and if you don't know the original stories of them you might not get a full appreciation to the actual variation um first of all the grim brothers are old european brothers who uh created the brothers grim fairy tales uh which is a series of of tales that we know a lot of us know a lot of them um snow white cinderella stuff like that right so a lot of them did have dark endings and not a lot of happy endings but this anime itself is basically taking or adding a character to the Grimm brothers, a sister, and saying that she basically rewrote their stories in a darker, different way of, of mindset. Uh, so just letting you know that that is uh, what's going on. Now, one thing to also note is that every single episode is directed by someone different. So, for example, episode one is Yoko kanamori episode two was yes yasuhiro akamatsu uh episode three juni chiro uh, hasiguchi uh, episode four yumi kamamura uh episode five masato Tak takeuchi and episode six shintaro nakasawa so sorry if i butcher the names i i, I don't speak japanese but those are the people so everyone's directed differently which which will show why it, it's very much different in, in every every aspect that you see so um what do i like about this series ah uh, the darkness is definitely uh, a big part to it and i honestly can review each episode on its own if i wanted to but i'm not gonna do that um gonna give you a little just snippets of each one. First one is cinderella and it basically takes a different uh, direction of cinderella being more of the controlling the whole situation in the background making everyone seem bad so that she can then have the life that she wants um and that one i would say is probably one of the most closest one to the grim brothers story that i i read I, mean, I saw uh the other ones were very much off which 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 is why i say if you I mean, if you've never heard the stories, you probably still appreciate the episode. But if you've heard the stories, you appreciate it more because you can connect it to the original one. Episode two is Little Red Riding Hood. And it's kind of in a more post-apocalyptic, futuristic uh, uh, time part. And where the wolf essentially are a part of a group of wolves who are trying to satisfy their wants and needs and cravings of hunting uh, by using like fake stuff fake meat and all that and then this particular wolf really wants the real thing so he goes after a girl called scarlet little red riding hood and uh figures out that he's not the only one that likes to hunt she likes to hunt too from all these six episodes gore wise this is probably the worst one when it comes to gore um just let you know uh episode three hensel and gretel takes a whole like almost um then the promise neverland mix with um i don't know planning of the apes i don't know very futuristic type of deal it's very much <laughs> 
you have to watch it. I can't really explain too much on this one. There's weird. It's a big weird twist to it. Um, and Hansu and Gretel, the characters themselves, the development of Gretel, um, and also Hansel is very interesting at the end. I'm not not gonna ruin the the punchline for this one, but do recommend you watching that one as well. Uh, episode four, the elves and the shoemaker. Uh, takes it away from shoemaking, goes to actual uh, author writing books, and him basically living a life of of pain, knowing that he's becoming famous uh, with all these books that he really has not written himself, but everyone believes he has, and he, it's kind of it's a weird like guilt trip type of deal. It's it's the, that one from all the episodes. Um, was the one that I was just kind of like, eh, about. Episode 5, The Town of Decisions of Bremen. Uh, that one kind of took th- the lives of three animals, not really girls, and um, them taking over a town so they can have a better future. It's very interesting. It's kind of Western-style uh, type of deal with a little futuristic weapons. Um, I would say this one probably has the most action when it comes to all six episodes, which I personally really enjoyed. Uh, I I really, really thought this one was well-made. Um, this is the one story that I had to go back and actually read. Um, I do have a book of the Grimm brothers. Uh, this is the only one that I was like, which was this one really? So anyways, just so you know, probably the most uncommon story of the Grimm brothers when it comes to these six episodes. And the last episode is the uh, Pied Piper of Hamlin. Um, this one was this, this one you have to, you have to be warned there. There is going to be, um, sex innuendos not innuendos uh, actual sex is gonna happen you're not gonna see it doesn't show anything but it is between a kid and an adult just throwing that out um it's it's it was weird it was weird it was weird um it's basically a cult trying to keep people uh outsiders away from them and um one of the people in them captures an outsider and keeps them and then the future leader of the of of the uh, area wants to see them and the deal they go with is just very weird very nasty um this is the one that made me the most uncomfortable but it is cult cult like which is why i liked it um anything that cult cult vibe i like watching just because cults are a real thing it it can happen um so that's kind of like you know more realistic was probably this one to be honest um and yeah it was just weird and dark and that one thing that i mentioned hopefully you know that's not happening in real life i i say hopefully not it is but you know it's it's unfortunate okay ah gosh going off that note (laughs) it is a good series uh I wish they would make more episodes, to be honest. Uh, Every single one is unique in themselves. Go watch them. Like I said, you don't have to watch them in order. You can watch the ones you want to watch. They don't really follow a plot um, per se. There is like a beginning snippet of each episode with the Grim Brothers and the sister, but they don't really follow too much. So uh, go and watch them. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you haven't done so by now, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Like always. Don't be strangers. See you guys.